First of all, I'd like to ask, um, how did you, what motivated you to become a marine microbiologist? So, um, the, the science part was pretty much because in a lot of ways, science is a great job. So, um, yeah, the thing about being a scientist is that the more you're asking, the more interesting the questions you're asking are, the more successful you're going to be. The way to be successful is to find some things that are really interesting. So that was great. Like it's a, it's a job where success is exactly the same thing as doing what's interesting. Uh, and then marine microbiology is a, is a very cool field um, because there's, you know, in, in the medical field, um, there's, for good reasons, there's a lot of money and there's a lot of interest in, in medical science, and that's great. I like having good medical science. Uh, but what it means is that there's very few really wide open questions. Um, there are a lot fewer environmental scientists um, looking at microbiology. There's plenty of us, but there's a lot fewer, which means that it's pretty easy to pick out a question, like for instance, what's going on with extracellular enzymes in streams and rivers, and nobody else is looking at it. And so, and so it's great. I can just sort of pick questions out of the hat that are really interesting and work on them. Cool. That's fun. And what led you to, okay, so we're here doing an experiment on enzymes. So what led you to pursue this um, experiment? Well, um, you know, like I said, I noticed that um, there's this problem with people that study extracellular enzymes that they don't look at enough of them. They look at, usually when they want to look at peptidases, so enzymes that break down proteins, they're only looking at a single peptidase called Lucille aminopeptidase. And in fact, there's lots of them. There's probably about 380 different ones. And so, you know, the first thing we do in science is we observe. So the first thing I wanted to do is to just go to different places and pick out some different peptidases and measure their activity and see if I find something interesting. And, and then once we do that, we can start to develop theories about what's controlling those enzyme activities, why they are the way they are. So, if you had the opportunity to work on your own instead of working for a university, would you do it? Why or why not? So, in a lot of ways, I am working on it. Um, the, the neat thing about working in a university is that um, in my position, uh, I'm free to do whatever I want, as long as I can pay for it. So, as long as I can attract some funding to do something. Um, then I'm free to, uh, to do whatever I think is interesting. I don't have a boss that says, no, you can't do that, you need to do the other thing. Um, and, and working at a university is really great. I would never want to work away from a university because there's lots of other smart, talented, interesting people working down the hall from me. So if I have an idea and I can't really get my head around it myself, I can go down the hall to one of my colleagues and say, hey, I've been thinking about this thing. What do you think about it? And they say, well, you know, here's what I think about it. And so that, that's... That's like one of the most exciting things for me. Um, so, if you ever like, have you ever had like this moment where you like were tired of the experiment and I didn't know the thing that you wanted? Did, like, have you ever had a moment where you felt like giving up? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had one of those moments last night at about 11 o'clock. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, but that's the way it is, right? You know, you go through you go through hard spots, and then you get some really cool result, and then you're all invigorated again, and and you're glad you went through the hard spots to get to it. So after we've collected the data here and analyzed everything, um, what's your next move? So what I want to do, we want to collect all the data, we want to analyze all the data. There's um, some we're measuring enzyme activities here. I'm going to um, measure the number of cells in each water sample when I go home because that requires equipment that I couldn't bring up here. Uh, and then I'm going to look at it and I'm going to think about it for a while. And I'm going to try and find, uh, I'm trying to find patterns in it or to just sort of think about why it might be the way it is. And then I'm going to write a paper about it um, where I talk about what my results are, what they might mean, how they fit with other results that other people have found, what kind of experiments in the future, you know, it would make sense to do based on these results. Uh, and then we send that paper off and hopefully we can get it published in a peer-reviewed journal. Cool. And my final question is, um, what's your advice or any important information you would give to anyone who's pursuing a career in marine microbiology? Well, uh, so the first thing is study science and math. Study it hard. 
study all branches of it. You can't say you want to be a biologist, and I'm pretty sure you're not doing this, but you can't say, I'm going to be a biologist, so I don't want to learn physics, or I don't want to learn calculus, because you need that stuff. Um, I said this morning, I think it's really good to learn a little bit of programming, because I think anybody who does any kind of science or, or math needs to know a little programming. Um, and then the bigger thing is just read a lot and ask a lot of questions. Talk to a lot of people about science whenever you can. And, and that's how you'll learn and that's how you find out what questions are interesting. You can ask them. Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. It's been a real pleasure to work with you. Cut.